Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a dynamic top bar. Let's say you have a use case where you would like to display your top bar dynamically and you don't want to redeploy your application. One option to do so is to fetch your top bar from top bar items from a JSON file. And with that, your top bar items will appear as needed like as you as you as you want them to appear based on your json file and you don't really have to redeploy your app for that because those top bar items will do, will depend on the back end on the endpoint that you provide you can do the same the same setup with a firebase and uh, control your top bar items in the um, Firebase uh, database. So let's go ahead and walk and uh, go through the setup how to do how to do that. So let's uh, see our mock JSON file that I have created. So we have storyboard name, we have controller name, we have image, we have selected image, we have order, and we have title. I know some of y'all don't like to do your UI with a storyboard it's not really the case uh, you don't have to lay out your ui in the storyboard you can do everything in code you just have to for this example for this example you just have to have a storyboard a controller a ui view controller in your storyboard that has those identifiers so we can display them but you can do everything in that storyboard in code you don't have to lay out your UI in code. And if you don't use storyboards at all, you might try to figure out a different way to specify your view controller in a JSON file and face your view controller in the JSON file tutorial. So we have a JSON file. Because it is a JSON file, we have our top bar item. So our top bar item is just our data model and it confirms to codable. We have our storyboard like controller name, image, uh, select image order and title. Nothing, nothing really special. All the magic that happens, it happens in um, our uh, top bar manager. So we have our top bar controller that confirms to UI top bar controller. But if we go to our top bar manager, this is all the magic happens. So uh, we have our top bar items. Initially, it is an empty array of top bar items. Then uh, we have our private method to view controller. And what we do here, uh, we use our top bar item. So we have an argument as a top bar, a top bar item. And here we create our top bar item. Uh, the title is going to be. Uh, whatever title we provide uh, the image is going to be our image that we specify in our item the selected image is going to be our selected image from the top bar item everything is completely dynamic and our top uh, top bar item tag is the item um uh, item order so uh, now here we configure our view controller and this is why for this example we do need to have our storyboard so because we specify storyboard name from our item and when we instantiate a view controller we instantiate it from the on item controller name so and um and, uh, and a view controller top bar item like it's our we assign and we assign a, our top bar item. So let's go ahead to our storyboard and see what we got here. So let's see. Uh, let's look at our blue view controller. So we have our view controller, uh, or we have our storyboard. Storyboard main main or main storyboard. It's the name of the storyboard. The controller name or the controller ID is a storyboard ID. This is this is really important to sp specify it correctly because if you don't, uh, this sample project won't work. So you need to specify ID here 
and uh, uh, if we look if we go to our blue view uh, blue view controller it we just provide the background view, uh, blue so let's go um, back to our top bar, uh, top bar manager. So this is where we fetch our top bar items. And here, get view controllers, we actually decode our uh, JSON file. So I created a bundle, a little extension on bundle where we decode our JSON file. And by the way, this method I took from Paul Hudson and Hacking with Swift. He utilizes this method heavily in many, many projects. So thank you, Paul. It was it is really, really useful. So but and like I hope you find it useful as well. So here um, I assign top bar top bar items to our uh, an array of top bar items that we got from our JSON file. And here we configure our view controllers. Um, our view controllers, uh, this is where our magic has to happen. So um, we need to uh, somehow create view controllers out our top bar items. So we sort our top bar items based on order. So in case if we want to change the order, we can just modify that JSON object and change the order and the order will change. And now we use compact map where we transform one uh, set of object to others. And uh, here we use our two view controller and uh, we create our view controller from our JSON file and based on our JSON file. And with that, we create our, um, our view controllers and we return our view controllers. So on our uh, scene delegate, Right here, we just set up our uh, root view controller as a, a top bar controller and make key invisible. Um, so basically, this is this is how we specify that this is our root view controller. So and uh, in our top bar controller, um, all we need to do is just introduce our top bar manager and make a call to that function. So. It's really easy to implement, so let's go ahead and run it and see what we got. So, and this is our top bar items. And uh, let's say I want to configure our top bar item, and I won't have only uh, two items. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove those two, uh, those three, and uh, we're gonna have two top bar items. And I'm going to configure it again. And now I'm going to have like four top bar items. And let's say I want to have the whole lot top bar, um, top bar items. And all of them are going to be the same. And this is how we do it. So it's really convenient. You don't have to redeploy your app as, as long as it comes from the Firebase or from your backend. And by the way, uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I mentioned, if you want me to do a tutorial with the Firebase, how to fetch those items from the Firebase, if this video gets 100 likes, I will do that. And if this video gets 50 likes, just 50 likes, I will do the same tutorial for Swift UI. Thank you so much, y'all, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.